Now that I have my project set up, I'm going to start placing my text. Now, I'm going to leave these here all the time so I can basically just duplicate them and use these words over and over again. So, for instance, I'm going to start filling up her skin tones. And what I would recommend you do is you fill a group and organize it. So, I'm going to come down here to the bottom, and there is a small folder. And I click on this, and it says Group 1. I'm going to name this Skin. We'll come back to that in a second. So I go to, say, my music layer, and I right-click, and I choose Duplicate Layer. Music copy, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to come up, uh, go back to my Move tool, click on this once, and then click and drag. And I can use my Rotate tools and stuff to fit this in. So I want this to fit into her arm. Now, you would the best way to do this is to make it a little bit larger than the area you need to, to fit into. So say I do something like that. There we go. I can either double click it or I can come up here and hit the check mark and that one's good to go. So I'm going to fill uh, something in here. I'll put modern. So I'll go click on modern, right click, duplicate layer, hit OK, click on it once, click on it again. And I'm going to rotate it like this just because I think it kind of makes sense since her arm's upside down. I'm going to have the text be upside down, and that actually fit quite nicely. So again, a little bit bigger is a little bit better. Double click. There it goes. And I've got a shorter area here, which is why you want some shorter and longer words. So go to Arch, right click, duplicate layer. Now, by the way, if I don't double click this, if I don't click it twice, twice, if I click and drag this, well, it didn't do it that time. A lot of times it will actually grab the center point here. Um, and move that first, which can be a little awkward. Not a big deal, though. All right, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. You get the idea. Go ahead and check this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to resize this. So I'm going to, um, while I'm still thinking about it, I'm going to organize this. So anything, music copy, art copy, modern copy, I'm going to click and drag these into the skin folder. It's in that folder, it's in that folder, it's in that folder, and I can collapse this later on. I can make the whole thing invisible at the same time. It allows me to keep my stuff organized because you're going to have a lot of layers pretty soon. So I go to my music one, and I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and my first go-to is going to be Warp. I'm going to hold my control button and plus so I can zoom into this. So this gives me a lot of control over what I want to do. Basically, this makes everything malleable. I can stretch things around and move things around as I want by grabbing these individual pieces. Now, this won't necessarily be perfect, um, but we're going to get into one that's going to give us a little bit more freedom later. I can grab this corner and stretch that in there. So as you can see, I get a lot of control over what I want to do with the text. And remember that we're making art. It's not necessarily about legibility. It's not my number one priority. I want it to fit in there. We're going to make something that's going to look cool. That's the goal. All right, so this isn't exactly right, but it's pretty close. So I'm going to check this. And then my next one to get all the fine tuning done is I go up to Filter, Liquify. Now, this is why we had to name our layers before. Over here on the right, we want to check instead of where it says Use All Layers, I'm going to go to Use Background. What that means is all the other layers are gone except for that one piece of text that I'm modifying and the background. Keep the mode on behind, opacity on 100 is fine. And we're going to use this tool up here, this uh, called Forward Warp Tool, which is pretty much your standard, you know, push things around. Um, and basically what it does is it makes this act sort of like clay. So, for instance, I can use this, and that's my brush size, by the way, that circle, to shape things so that they fit in certain areas. I can use my left and right. Right bracket makes it bigger. Left bracket makes it smaller. So I can control how much I have if I need to modify things. So I can make this, for instance, bigger to push the edge of the C down without having it really heavily distort. And if I want to make it smaller here, I could fit that in 
make it a little bigger here and push in the edge of that S. There we go. Make it a little bit smaller so I get just the top of the U. And now my text is fit in quite clearly. Hit OK. Life is good. There we go. Okay, that's going to be the quick way of sort of setting up your stuff.